So this is just a Nogi version of that Tomoe, it's a Juji. Um, we work on getting a big meat hook here and driving this elbow in by really isolating this arm. This is key. You've got to have this arm trapped to be able to do this Juji. So when I'm here, I do the same sort of mechanics otherwise. I'm collapsing him in. I'm stepping to the outside if possible. I'm putting my foot up on his hip or up here if I have to. But from there, I just give a big spin. And all the way around, I like to keep his head hooked the whole time and really sink up tight on the shoulder. Just lay back to the juju. Now, that is a, a great setup. It's a spinning juju gatami, Tomoe Nagi to spinning juju gatami type thing. But we're using it here as a throw as well for Tomoe Nagi. So here we go, there's a throw. And you notice, not only did he spin him over, he was applying the arm lock as he threw Derek. So that's why this is kind of a double trouble thing for a throw, a and not just a throw, but a transition to Juji Gatami. So there we have that, catch it over, there we go. And I will say this, uh, you guys probably were there at that tournament a number of years ago with one of the Freestyle Nationals. Uh, we had an athlete throw another guy for, with this throw for any pawn. I was the referee. And he threw him with this very move. He caught it a little, little different than you, the way you do it, Mike. Of course, he had a gi on. But in any event, he did this. He threw him flat on his back and had, immediately had him in a juji gatami. He didn't need to apply the juji. I called a pawn. And the, the opponent's coach who got thrown, he said, well, why was that a pawn? I said, he threw him with control and onto his back with force. All the elements for in judo, any pawn in judo. And he could have finished with Juji if I didn't say anything. So he was really trying a flying Juji Gatami or jumping Juji Gatami spin under, you know, Timon. Right but he right. threw him so cleanly, just like you're doing here, Mike. So it's kind of double trouble. So do that again. And, uh, but notice, uh, everybody watching the video, what, l l let's come out, Mike, stop, stop again. Look at that tie up. Now look at how Mike, with his right elbow, is going to steer. Now he's got that. Okay, now c come around the other side, Mike, your right elbow. Now, watch as he steers under. See how he throws under and he catches that over. So, as Mike is sw spinning under for the Tomoanagi, as it were, he's throwing his right elbow into the center of Derek's body. Do that one more time, Mike. And there you go. Good. Now, he's doing that quite slow. It looks like he's spinning Tomoanagi to Juji, but we're really doing this as a throw. So, now put a little juice on it. I know Derek will love that. Boom. <laughs> that wasn't quite so much juice, but that was okay. You're getting tired. We've done a whole lot of them. But that's the idea of it, guys. A, um, a spinning Tomoanagi, no gi, with that, uh, that head and arm, but it really emphasis on the right elbow. You go right into a Juji Gatami. So you got a little double trouble Juji Gatami. One more time. We'll get it here. Right on top, and you can finish there the Juji. So double trouble, Juji Gatami in a no-gi situation. Again, we could be doing this with, with judo gis or sambo gis on as well. There we have it. We're doing the uh, Tawanagi to spinning Juji Gatami drill. Basically, we're just taking turns. I do you, you do me, spin under them and do as a transition. It's a great transition drill to uh, Tomoanagi, spinning Tomoanagi, side Tomoanagi, Yoko Tomoanagi, to Juji. And it's a back and forth. We take turns with each other. I do one, you do one. And we just take different, different turns doing it. As you can see. And we'll do them in sets, you know, or, or you know, the assignment the coach may give to the guys. I told them tonight, let's just do 10 each. I'll do one, you do one. Just work on spinning and catching them. And when I, the instructions were also to do it on a fairly fast tempo. So the guys are really sticking yeah. into it very quickly. Spin and go. And we want to work on a fast tempo. And as part of it, we're also working a little conditioning into it, working some fitness into it, in addition to the skill learning. So we're combining both a uh, skill drill in this case, very obvious skill drill, in with a little fitness action because we want a little faster tempo to make them work a little harder. And again, we're just working back and forth. And the idea is to do a spinning Tomoanagi to Juji Gatami as a very smooth transition to get the arm lock. And that's the task at hand for everybody, and that's what they're doing. Again, this is about the third drill we've done on the mat tonight. 
and uh, it's directed toward uh, all something relevant to what's actually done in a real fight. So there we have it, the uh, spinning Tomonagi to Juji drill. Switch to, he's going to tell them that the next few drills pop up on both feet. If it pops up, there we go, spin and catch over. So that's a case where he pops up, spins and catches and rolls him over. This is a really good drill we use quite often here. We get some of the other guys to do it here, you can see it. The goose pops up, Eric spins, catches and rolls him right over. Or he pops up. Okay. See how you catch that nice roll. Notice how he spins so deeply, almost 180 degree turn, rolls the top guy over. And that's what we're seeing here. So Goose is going to pop up. Derek spins under, rolls him over, finishes with uh, the Jujigatami. And from this angle, spins under. And again, this is a drill we do in progression. Basic spinning jujigatami from the bottom, and one man pops up on a knee, then they pop up on their feet and work. The bottom man keeps the top man from standing up and pulling him up off the mat, getting a break in the action. We've had this on our YouTube before, but we really like this drill and we do it quite a bit. It's a very effective drill, and you get a very strong, aggressive approach to doing jujigatami if you drill on this a lot, like we're doing here. This is a typical. Sambo Sunday here at Welcome Mad Elite. So that's that's the drill. This session, um, what you all came to camp for, the, the Cadillac move. You know, we've got the the civic moves, they're the things that work every day that everybody can do, but you, got, you occasionally got to throw on a Cadillac move, something cool, something to show the girls back home. I'm, I'm going to real quick, we're, we're going to do an interesting technique and you'll, I think you'll have fun doing it. Uh, when John and I and, and Bill were back in the old days, when the, when the Soviets and the Sambo, they came along and they did what everybody, we call the flying Jujigatami, the flying arm lock. Well, you're not really flying, there's a, there's a method to it, it's really a transition move to get them down, but it does look like you're jumping up and flying across it. It's a pretty cool move. And it, it, people, if we've been playing with it, and it, it's with some success, some not. Uh, I think we got it down pretty good, really. And it, it's something you can do with a good ratio of success. It is not a trick move like some people think it is. So it is a solid fundamental skill. I don't know if it's fundamental, but it's a solid skill that can be done. So I want to preface this with saying that. So be careful, practice it, and we're going to teach it to you safely here. Okay. So. Towards Steve's point, this is all going to basically flow from the same position that, that we were working before with the, the collar tie. Um, you could do it from the, the head and arm, but we're going to step back a bit from that. So when we're doing the Tomonagi to Juji, the idea is to get yourself safely onto the ground, you know, shrimping in. And once you guys have gotten that idea, you've basically got the framework for doing a flying arm bar. The only difference is you've got to be a little bit more aggressive with your hold on. You know, you really got to think about the guy as your safety line. Okay, the last thing I want to do is jump up, not have a good grip on his arm and shoulder, fall down, and I fall five feet down and thump myself. Or even worse, he goes, side, wham! You know, we've all seen the, the YouTube video. Okay, so we're going to keep a good grip on him. And how I know I can hit this one as a flying instead of a Monogi to Juji is if I can pull his head into my shoulder. Okay, if his head is there, he's toast. Okay, I know I can hit it. If he's out here, I still might try it, but I wouldn't recommend that until you get a, a good handle on it. All right, so if he's out here and you're even remotely worried, go to Mo and I can do GG until you feel like you can do that in your sleep. If you can do this, great, go for it, okay? So the key here that we're gonna do is as we come through, before we were taking that step to the side, we were throwing the foot up and then we were rotating down. What I wanna do now is curl under as tightly as you can, okay? I'm not going to throw my, my leg up here into this armpit. I'm not going to throw this one up there or this one up there. It's 
it's the same exact motion I was doing before. This foot comes up here, and then as I rotate under, we transition to the ground. About halfway through, I kick my foot in front of his face. Okay? Keep a hold of everything until you flip them over. All right? So I got a good control of them. Step to the side. Okay? Over he goes. Okay? Look. Just like the Tomo and Nagi Juju, right? The only difference is I was in midair when I got the foot over. Right? When I do Tomo and Nagi Juju, my back is on the ground already. Okay? That's the, that's the big difference between the flying arm lock and Tomo and Nagi Juju. We, we've, we've spent a lot of time looking at this. We really have. And, and that's the big difference. You're really jumping up on him. And as you kick your leg over his head, you, you, you're, you're spinning on him doing the jujigatami. You could also do the leg jam into the, into the ribs, you know. Uh, but this is pretty much basic way we can show you. You can do it the other way, too. I, I find, again, you have to be a little bit more dynamic to do it that way. Okay? Like, Eric, you like that version. I know you do, yeah. Eric has that one very, very well. However, again, if you have to take some steps, do it the, the first way, okay? How many of you have heard my back come on the mat? Right? Okay, now, you'll hear it this time because there's going to be lots of space. Right? What happened? Okay? Too much space. Okay? So that's why I say get the head on the shoulder. Boom, lock, lock. Step to the side. Over we go. Okay. See, there's some key points there that are really subtle. That's why he wants to park that guy's, Mike's, in this case, Mike, his partner. He's parking, he's anchoring that head, and he's using that head to keep himself up so he can jump under him, yeah. to spin under him, rather than spin there like Tomo and Agi and go under him. Yeah. That's why it works. Pull yourself up, swing under. Yes, you're jumping a little bit, but you're just as much collapsing in your grip so that you stay at that nice tight rotation. Okay? The more distance you have here, the less you're using him like a rope, the more you're going to thump when you hit. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's try, guys. Let's more. give it a try. Oh, one more time? One more time? Right, okay. One more time. Let me get a little closer Lots here. In, step to the side. Yeah. There we go. Good. That's the standard version of the jumping jujigatami, flying jujigatami, call it what you wish. <laughs> it's a good tap out. Hey, Eric, let me put you on the spot. Can you work with one of the guys? Show your version where you jam the knee across the ribs because that's a great variation too. <laughs> that one there, uh-huh. Here you go. And that's... The, and, and, and the reason you like that is because you have very long limbs. You have long legs, and, and it works for you. It works for you quite well. So that's a, a great variation that, that has a great element of success as well. So it's a, kind of a knee jam flying Juji Itami, isn't it?